Hi, BookTube. It's Amy. So, story of the day is the arrival of this book, which was listed on Abe from this seller in the States, Wonder Books. And I might add, I paid the 14 US dollars worth of shipping. That turns out to be about 20 Canadian dollars. Uh, this copy of Spare Hours by John Brown from 1866. That was labeled on Abe as being in fair condition. The seller in their description then described it as acceptable. Now, what's the difference between fair and acceptable? Who really knows? It depends on who's looking at it. Uh, but the description here specifically said, intact, a readable intact copy that may have noticeable tears and wears to the spine. All pages of text are present, but they may exclude include extensive notes and highlighting or be heavily stained includes reading copy only books now when I hear intact a reading copy that is intact um, I usually think it's going to be intact that the end papers and the front board isn't going to be completely detached uh, I usually think you know there may be some wear and tear to the spine. Uh, well, I usually expect there to, you know, be some cloth left attached to the spine, and I don't expect it to be setting all over the place. <laughs> uh, and the backboard is hanging on by a tiny thread. Now, of course, I would expect it to look like this on the inside. It is a fair copy, but this is not in any way, shape, or form intact. <laughs> I would expect there to be stamps and stains and maybe a few teared pages. And I do have to say the text block is as, as described, but uh, this, is, this is not intact. Uh, so there's your lesson of the day. I would caution you uh, in ordering from Wonder Books. <laughs> Because, you know, if I were writing up a description for this book to sell online, I would describe this as poor and I would directly state that there is no cloth left on the spine and that the boards are no longer intact and attached to the book. Just, but you know, that's just me. That's just me wanting to be honest about what I'm selling. Now, it's maybe plausible that the boards were, you know, in, attached when this shipped. Uh, but if that's the case, and I highly doubt it, because I don't think this happens just in the mail. If that's the case, then it should have been packed much better. But I find it extremely hard to believe that the entire block of cloth on the spine came off and both boards detached themselves while being mailed. <laughs> Because not only was this book wrapped in plastic, but it was also wrapped in a layer of paper. And the paper had not torn. It was fairly well packaged. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, it is what it is. I do kind of like this Ex Libra stamp there. And uh, I'm sure I will enjoy reading it. But it's just not, not the book that was uh, described to me. <laughs> But there we go. It is a collection of essays. And yeah, it's just, let's not try to tear that anymore. It's just shedding all over my sofa. 